Black Jermaine, and this is my YouTube channel. Like, share, comment, repost, tweet, whatever. We're live. I think I solved my issue. My issue was I had a P0344 and a P30340 code for a camshaft sensor and also the crankshaft, crankshaft position sensor. So I went to the dealership. I had replaced the camshaft position sensor, which is located right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Focus, focus, camera, focus. Uh, it ain't focusing for me. Let me get my light. But you can see it, it's right here. Oh, my, light. my light right situated. It's right here. And the crankshaft sensor, uh, position sensor is located like right here up under, uh, up under the motor, like right close to close to the, uh, I think the transmission. It's up under there. Change both of them sensors out, check the wires. I checked the wires multiple times. But I had to, I seen one where somebody said that they had the same issue uh, on a Jeep, uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee and they uh, said it was hitting right here. So I checked, I unhooked all these wires, checked these wires, they was good. That wasn't the issue. So I had to, I rewired everything to see if that fixes it. That fixed the issue. Basically what was happening is uh, up under this, like this plastic or whatever they use, wires was cut, I guess, from all the bending and the wear and tear. And you can see, it get out some, focusing right. But you can see how damaged the wire is basically if you look at these wires that's you can see the damaged wire right here so I had to cut all these wires out get a new wires harness for the uh, camshaft sensor and as of right now uh, I'm letting it run uh, I'm gonna turn it off a minute turn it back on but it wouldn't it wouldn't even turn over well it would turn over after 10 seconds right now it cranked right up so I'm gonna turn it off keep playing with it, make sure that was the issue. But so far, so good. I couldn't get it to crank like it just crunk. So that could be causing of your issue. So I would check first, I would change. I would go to the dealership to get my uh, parts. I wouldn't go to Advanced Auto or any place like that. I would go to the dealership to get my parts, sensors. But two, I would, uh, well, first I would read the code, make sure it's the uh, right code. because. I was getting multiple codes. I was getting code for my uh, aftermarket air intake and everything else. So first I make sure it's the right code, change out my sensors, check the wiring. And basically my wiring was my issue. If that's not your issue, then I don't know where to go. But I'm seeing that this is a common issue on a Jeep Grand Cherokee 2012. So I would start from right here. This could be the cause of it from here on. So I would start from here and then check the crankshaft sensor, position sensor, whether or not. But this most likely would be your issue, your wiring, because it's terrible. And this, you can see right here where it was hitting right here. It's probably didn't do too much damage to this wire, but I'm still gonna rewire that just to be on the safe side. 